Welcome back to Factorio, folks. We are joined, as always, by ST Hedgehog. And hello. Hello, hello. And we are doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, yes, yes, we are. That's that's. Uh... <laughs> that's what we're doing. Very <laughs> down the oil mm -hmm. into smaller, smaller segments, into, uh, sorry, breaking light oil down to petroleum and, and uh, heavy oil down to light oil. Okay. But, um, kind of messing it up. Because I've noticed we want to have petroleum, uh, because I'm obviously not using any light oil or heavy oil. Okay. Which uh, causes problems, obviously. It could do, yes. We don't, want, we don't want problems. No, no problems are not good. And as you may have noticed, we actually have uh, red circuits being made because in between episodes I fixed so that the green circuits are coming in. And I also made some, uh, what are they called? Substations? Substations, they're called. So, everything is working now. I'm not entirely sure why everything is blinking here. Oh, it's because we are missing, um, what are they called? Uh, modules. We're missing modules. Uh, but that'll be fine. Th that and of beacons. no. Uh, I'll be fixing the module situation relatively soon. There's a power pole in the way. It should be moved. Uh, no, no, I'll run the pipe around it. I wouldn't want to use it too much. No, confusion is a bad thing. No, it means break down lighter than that, not heavy. Of course. Okay, now this doesn't actually work. We need it to turn into 16. Those four lines need to turn into 16 lines. That's a lot of lines. I have realized I've just messed this up because I don't actually want to break down any oil unless. Hmm. Unless the oil is too high. Right. Uh... Hmm. So you break down to that one, and then you break down to that one, and then that's all good, I think. Let's get most of these loaded in. We don't produce any plastic. Okay, uh, we then also want to produce lubricant, because I haven't done that yet. I think I'm going to do lubricant here. No, not. And then whatever we need heavy oil for, we've got that. I can't remember how many things we need for heavy oil, do we? For oil. I have no idea. We got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six trains get off the train track. Six trains. Uh, and I don't remember what they were for. <laughs> 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 I 
because I, na I named them all temp, didn't I? So I've got plastic and lubricant. What else was there? <laughs> so let's put down one of these and find out. Uh, so uh, we have plastic, we have lubricant. Oh god, we need explosives, batteries, sulfur, sulfuric acid. Uh, do we need a sulfur export? Uh, yes. We need it for science, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, yeah, there were six. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna name these stations just so I know what I'm doing. So, oh, right here we've got uh, plastic pickup. So this is gonna be. Is it called dynamite? This isn't gonna work, is it? It's called explosives. Let's pick that. Up. Dang it. Doesn't matter. Explosives. Uh, battery. Battery pickup. No, battery is not spelled with an E, it's spelled with an A. To so you lucky people who can see colors, it might matter. Uh, I feel as if sulfur is not spelled with an E, I think it's spelled with a... S-U-L-F-E-R. No, S-U-L-F-U-R. It is? Yep, sulfur, not sulfur. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought it was an E, I spoke with an E first time. And then we need a sulfuric acid. What color is going to be? So we're going to make it. You are a sulfuric acid. There we go. And that should be our six stops. Fantastic. So uh, I, I, I think it was Pete Rubis who mentioned uh, it usually is. Uh, it usually is, yes. <laughs> I don't know where we'd be without without Pete. No, I, 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 uh, we'd be lost in Siberia somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How did you get here? I don't get it. Uh, I, it mentioned about. Um, Obviously beacons and stuff like that, which I haven't even thought about. Um, but also that I should be using more pumps between the uh, uh, tanks. Mm -hmm. uh, because I was confused as to why the pumps were pumping so slowly. And it's all based on how much volume it can see, I think. Okay. So if all the tanks are connected, it can see the whole volume. So it pumps slowly based on that. Whereas if it pumps individual tanks, it pumps faster. I think that's the gist of what he was saying. Uh, okay. But I'd have to tear it all down. Really space here is there. Really want to do that. I'm going to be struggling for control here. Pushing all the way to the end and now up to there. So I should have. Uh, 
should have had pumps going up rather than across. But hey, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to need more chemical plants to break down the oil, but I don't really have space to put them in there. I can put them here. I'll, I'll leave it like that for the moment. Yeah. We'll see how we go. Don't, did I make a load station blueprint yet? I don't think I did. I made a unload. These are definitely too close together. Dang it. Alright. Fine. What we do him. Yeah, solid, solid fuel. my two-sided load. No, no, ah. Right, so disconnect that, disconnect that. Where'd that go? Didn't I save it? Sorry? Uh, my blueprint that I just created disappeared. I guess I didn't make it. I'll probably would give it another shot then. Uh, not you. Two sided load. Ah, I think I forgot to create click create blueprint, which helps. Keep in mind that once we have all our modules and stuff, this will produce a lot faster than it is right now. Should stand in range of a roboport for a little bit. Come on, robots. Give me some belts. Well, I suppose I can do that. To go. Oh. OK. 
Okay. Hello again. Hello, hello. Hello. Yes, I thought I thought so. I thought this was funny. You disappeared. Oh, very quickly. Uh, and I, I can't figure the problem out because apparently it is a known issue that Discord can't fix. <laughs> uh, that sucks. It doesn't affect everyone and I don't get why it's affecting me. And I am getting server not responding now. Oh. Right. It solved itself. I, I think when you connect and disconnect it actually affects my connection ah, okay that's only only discord i, I do I, I i i will well, I'll, when we finish this episode i shall um uh, switch it on and off again mm -hmm. so we're not responding no? oh. The internet is not happy right now. It seems to have corrected itself, more or less. Of course. All right, now you need to request uh, solid fuel. I need to request solid fuel. Okay. Okay, we will rename you Red Circuit Pick Up. And we shall do the same with you. Red Circuit Pick Up. So, what were you saying while you were talking to yourself and the viewers on your channel, but not me. Uh, I don't remember. Um, <coughs> uh, <laughs> it couldn't be anything too important. I, I, th I think I was just trying to explain that I need to turn these things around so I can have one water feed come in the center. Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't anything. I did notice it because I'm aware of this problem. I do notice it quite quickly. Yeah. So uh, it wasn't. It was only about thirty seconds or so. Is it not? Not working. Alrighty then. Now we just need some trains. Locomotive. Keep an eye on it, and I said, but when we when we finish recording this one, I shall switch it off again. Mhm. Mm that is what they most frequently recommend doing. Yes, yes it is. Uh, should probably put them up here. Mm -hmm. uh, ah. That station. Was important. I think that was important. That was that. Let's sort of pick up. More red circuit drop off. 
Full cargo. Uh, empty cargo. Uh, time passed. Let's say four or five seconds. Inactivity. Do the same with you, but I can shift right click, shift left click right, and yeah, you get all the settings. So there we go. Uh, you're getting water, you're getting that, you're getting that, you're getting that, you're happy, everyone is happy, everything is awesome. Fantastic. Hopefully. Uh, Plug that one in there. There we go. That works. Awesome source. Now I just need to do that down there, which I didn't really think about, but hey ho, not a problem. Didn't get run over crossing the tracks. No, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Yeah, but I don't, didn't. Don't, don't recommend it. Nope. I didn't get run over, which I normally do. <laughs> Where, uh, where, where does the red circuit drop off? Is it over here? No. That's cold. Where, where'd the train go? Uh, I, 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 it's a question for the ages. Where did the train go? Yeah. Where? You're yeah, not the train, you're green circuit, right? Yeah. Where the heck is this red circuit rub off? Stone, battery, iron plate, green circuit. Ah, here we go. Red circuits. We're getting red circuits. We are getting red circuits at the mall. Awesome. That's all working now. Cool. So we have six pumps breaking down heavy oil and light oil. Um, cool, cool. And I can apply logic to it. So it doesn't ever smooth my heavy oil out. Not so fast about the light all, but I might apply the logic to that as well, just because. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, well, I'm lacking, laggy right now. Uh, let's see you. So if I was to grab a something I'm not requesting. Whoa, no. man, it's laggy right now. Oh, okay. Oop. Uh oh. All right, but we are building stuff. Is, is, is it still good? Is it good? Uh, I'm still in, but it's very sketchy. Try to restart everything. Let's see how yeah. that goes. Really cool I think it's right. So, if I connect you to there, I'll get you to there. Shoot. Uh, you will be enable disable. And enable if. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Right, but we are getting. Red circuits, which is wonderful. You are to output one if heavy oil is greater than twenty thousand. Uh, 
And we're getting, uh, what are they called? Uh, beacons now. We're getting beacons. Beacons are being built. Interesting. But they're of course not getting any modules yet, but at least we'll have the beacons set up. There we go. Right. Okay, okay. So that works. So we do exactly the same down here, and I will explain this as I go, hopefully. Uh, I am going to move that power pole. There we go. Right. So a decider, a decider combiner takes in a parameter and tries to figure stuff out. So we link the oil storage tank to the input, which is the arrow in, and then cancel that, and we, input the, we, we link the output to the pump. Okay. In the pump, we set it so that if it, whatever signal you want, I'm going to go with the check mark equals one, then the pump should be on. And then here we go. If light oil, light oil is greater than twenty thousand, mm -hmm. then I'll put one on the tick like that, which I. Uh, you listen to must be very weird I'm not seeing the visuals but uh, <laughs> it, it does sound a little bit weird but yeah I, I was a bit quick there but, but basically it's um, the, if the tank has more than 20,000 light fuel in it mm -hmm. turn the pump on to break the light fuel down to petroleum okay so if the light oil drops below 20,000, uh, it won't be breaking it down, so we'll have some light oil in reserve. Not that we need light oil, but it makes sense. And I've got the same for heavy oil as well. So if the heavy oil is, is above 20,000, then we want to start breaking it down to light oil. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> so well, I'm, I'm doing it that way because obviously we need some heavy oil to make the lubricant. Yeah. Uh, and we might make solid fuel off of the light oil. So we don't want to empty the whole tanks full of them. We want them to go down to a certain level and then stop there. So there's no point in breaking down all of our heavy oil into light oil because then we won't have any heavy oil for lubricant. True. So maybe we can tweak the numbers later, but we will we'll see. We will see. Yeah. It sounds like a reasonable assessment that you have made. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we aren't making enough uh, petroleum still. Oh. Um, we still need more. I knew I should have moved them up here. It is incredibly satisfying to see your robots just go about their business. I, I can sit there watching that for days. Let him get on with it. Yeah. A lot of sulfur there. I'm not using sure that. Yeah, I think perhaps. Um... Okay, that's our seven unloading stations here. Yeah, so. so this, this, is, this is working, it's just. It's not keeping up with demand at the moment. That doesn't sound ideal. Yeah, we're not we're not producing enough petroleum mm -hmm. to keep up with the market. What I, what I really would love is the ability to just grab all of these tanks and move them over by two squares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be fantastic because then I could put pumps in between them. Uh, uh -huh. Because we have 
haven't done it. Oh, I haven't do it that way. So, so yeah. But hey ho. Well, ah, that was a mistake and a half. Uh, Oops, I accidentally picked up a tank. <laughs> oh. And uh, we have a train which run out of fuel. We're uh, also out of time. Yes, oh, yes, we are. Yes, uh, the green circuit train. Yeah. Has run out of fuel. But, sorry, oh. the red circuit pickup train. Oh. Uh... It's because I have them requesting solid fuel, not coal. We've got solid fuel, but you haven't actually put the request chest inside an area where there's a... Oh! That, that makes it more difficult, doesn't it? That, it, it? It does. It makes life a little awkward for the robots to get there. Um... You can't obviously put the rubber port where it should be because something's in the way. Something's in the way. I'll uh, figure it out. You've got one angle that's in the way of one port, because otherwise you can run away from something. Mm. But it doesn't. I'll it's figure it out. Important. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we do still have solid fuel in the system. Okay. So. Uh, I will run up here and fix it. Oh, now we have, we have two trains up here. Probably the other red circuit tra train. Uh, yep. Yep, the other locomotive train. I'll go and get that one because it's right next to me. But. Uh, we shall, we shall. So, let's call it here, shall we? Yeah. Alrighty. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have fun.